Hello ladies and gentlemen, Spirit of the Law here. A few weeks ago I uploaded a video where this happened. I was the blue player with the archers, and even though I specifically briefed them before they left on their mission to avoid town centers, they ended up right under one taking free hits. These guys just don't listen. As I moved my archers away from the town center, I wasn't sure how I should be doing that, and should I be doing some fancy stuff with their formations or running them straight back, maybe at an angle? Does it even make a difference which way I pulled them away from the town center? Even more often, my scouts, or an enemies, seem to have a close encounter with a town center while trying to explore. Now you might say, so what if I lose my scout? But losing a scout early to a town center costs a lot of map information, and it's harder to keep an eye on what your opponent is doing. So I want to know, are there things I can be doing to help my units survive that situation? And I wanted to let you know what I found. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the effectiveness of different techniques that you can employ to get your scouts and archers away from town center fire and hopefully give you another little tool in your tool belt that you can pull out, maybe to save yourself a couple units down the road. Let's check it out. Big thanks to Marshmallow Master for that awesome intro. Now first, let's take a look at Scout Cavalry. Scouts end up under Town Center fire all the time. I've lost quite a few scouts while playing online in my day, and I have to say the vast majority were back when I just started learning how to play. It doesn't happen as often these days because I've learned some tricks that I'm happy to share with you. I used to lose scouts for two reasons. One, I didn't have them hotkeyed, and two, I didn't know how to move the scout to prevent it from getting hit by the town center. These days, I always hotkey the scout to number one on my keyboard by holding control and pressing one, and it's one of the first things I do in every game. That way, at any time, I can press one and spacebar, and I can immediately have the camera centered on my scout wherever he is on the map. I also hotkey my town center to the number two so I can jump quickly back and forth. If I hear that war alarm, while I'm working on my town in Dark Age, I quickly press 1 in spacebar and check on him. Don't tell him I said this, but he's kind of a big deal and I'd like to keep him alive. Usually he's off picking fights with villagers or town centers when I hear that sound and I gotta go in there and sort him out. Now, when newer players leave their scouts beside my town, I garrison and start shooting them and usually the player responds after several shots have already happened and the scout dies. Let's use an illustrative model to show the tricks for saving your scout. In this scenario, the opponent has six villagers gathering sheep around their town, and I'll send my scout in to attack it intentionally. I wait to hear the bell, and then I jump to him using my hotkey and try to get him away from the town as quickly as possible. I'd say I responded quite quickly, and obviously I'm anticipating this happening and I have him hotkeyed, but he died before I could get him out of range. This happens every time I try to do it. Now, I could probably run right past the town and get away, but in this case I'm waiting until I hear that warning bell that he's under attack, as you probably would in a game situation where you're trying to do stuff back at home. He's right beside the town when he takes his first shot, so this is really a worst case scenario, but it's not looking good. Now we'll try again, but this time I'll show you a little trick. We do the same thing again and jump to him after the battle notification goes off. This time I got him away. Let's do it again. And again. With a bit of practice, you can get to the point of doing laps around the town center. The important thing is that you're moving roughly perpendicular to the arrows and spiraling out from the town. It doesn't have to be exactly 90 degrees, and it looks like when you're a few tiles away, you can get away with maybe 45 degrees. For those of you who use radians, that's pi over 4 radians, and for you Americans, that's 113 degrees Fahrenheit. No, that's a different type of degrees. Basically, if you know where the town is, you can do a little flyby and check it out without taking any arrow fire. If anything, the other player would just be wasting their villagers' time by firing at you. If you played co-op against a computer, you could have one player just circle around the town all game, stalling the computer, while the other person built up and showed up with rams and castle age. What if it's later in the game though, and the opponent has ballistics researched? Well, then you can't avoid getting hit as easily. The angle trick is just an exploit that's happening because arrows before you research ballistics fire where your unit is and not where it's going to be. 
Now I'm going to try to answer something that to my knowledge has never been addressed in a video and that I wasn't sure about in the game that I played earlier. My response when my archers were under fire was to try to move them away at an angle like I would do with the scout cavalry. Now I want to know if that was the right decision or if there's something that I could have done better there. First of all, we noticed the archers were taking a lot of damage from the arrows. The question is, is that because archers are slower and can't do the spiraling away angle trick? Or is it because it was a group of archers and the shots were missing their target but hitting other archers because the group takes up a larger area? Well, let's try just one archer going perpendicular to the arrows and see what happens. We notice he's going slower than the scout cavalry and can't avoid the arrows as well as the scout could, but overall it's actually pretty good, and if you're a ways away, he can avoid them most of the time. It may not look like it in this test, but if you try it yourself, you'll notice you have to be right on the edge of the town center's range to avoid the arrows with an archer, and you can get away with being at least one tile closer with scouts because of their faster speed. We can also try using scouts in a group. You can still avoid some damage with the group, but not as effectively as you could with just one, especially against a player who can do the targeting themselves and could focus fire on the scout at the front of the pack. Turning corners is especially problematic, although in real life you'd be trying to get away and not necessarily circle the town, so that's probably okay. So far it looks like the archers are getting a really rough deal here. They can't do the angled walking trick as well, and being in a group makes the angled trick worse anyway. Maybe it's not the best strategy in a situation like this. Let's try a few different strategies to get away from the town center and see what happens. For this experiment, I have groups of nine archers, as I thought that'd be a reasonably sized group to be rushing with. And I'm gonna send them right up to the town center for a shot, simulating the archers moving way too close to a town and having it garrisoned. And then I'm gonna try to get them away with different formations and different angles. At the end, I'll add up the collective health of the nine archers and we can compare which techniques prevented the most damage. I realize there could be an argument that an archer is just as useful at full health as half, and saving two archers at half health is more useful than losing one full archer, despite the fact that I would be considering both situations equal by using the total health point measure. The reason I've chosen to do it the way I have is the number of archers that die is going to be a lot more random, the health is a more sensitive measure and I think a more accurate reflection of the damage that the group sustained. You'll see the results for yourself though if you think just counting the number of archers killed is a better measure. So the first group will have just run away from the town center in a straight line. It's basically a control group to compare the others to. The average health point of the group when it got away was 215 out of the original 270 health points for the group of 9. That's about 80% of their health intact. I calculated the median as well by averaging the middle values to control for any skew from one particularly strange result. Overall, it seems like a reasonably effective way to save your units from the town center, but let's see how it compares to some other strategies. Next, let's have them run at an angle and spiral away, like I did in my game a couple of weeks ago. Remember, this is the technique that works best when lone scouts are under fire. I'm not saying I'm doing a great job with the micro, and it's sort of inconsistent, but the spiraling out at an angle seems to be increasing the number of shots the archers take, without leading to many successful dodges. I tried to vary the angle I was using a little bit, but none of the six attempts ended up being as good as the average was from the test before. As well as this technique works with scouts, the archers just can't avoid the arrows when they're that close to the town. The average was 167 health points remaining, compared to 215 health points when they just ran straight away. That's 62% of their health left, compared to 80%. This is definitely not the way to do it, and partially explains my heavy losses in the game. Now let's try having them run away, but doing a fancy split maneuver on every shot. It probably depends on how good you are at doing it, and the town center seems to follow the split pretty well at close ranges, but not as well when you're at a longer range. In fact, I can even sometimes avoid the last shot altogether. Here I had the split formation hotkeyed, so I could easily select my group, and then I could use the hotkey to go back and forth while freeing up my mouse. Given how well it seemed to be working, I think I'm going to have to start using hotkeys for splitting more often. This was the best yet, with an average of 231 out of 270 health points left, or 86% of their health if you prefer to look at it that way. That's a pretty amazing difference, and you don't even have to micro it all that well. More than half the time, I could even save all 9 archers. Let's keep going though and trying some other ones. Now we'll have them run straight away but in a loose formation. No one ever seems to use this formation online, but traditionally it's an anti-arrow formation that decreases the odds of an arrow spread hitting a target. 
One thing I immediately notice as they run away is that there's less spread of the damage across multiple units, which seems good. But they always lose one or two units because the ones that get hit get some serious focus fire. In the end, they average about 210 health out of 270, or about 78%. This is actually slightly worse than just running away in a tighter line formation. With the line formation, you average 7.83 out of 9 archers left, and with the loose formation, it's 7.67 of your archers left. So it's not like you take more damage but save more units in loose formation, it's just consistently a bit worse than line formation. For completeness sake, I gave a test run to loose formation running away at an angle, box formation running straight away, and box formation running away at an angle, and then three attempts of starting in loose formation and then doing splits as I ran away. The loose formation at an angle was a disaster at 153 out of 270 health points. I only did one trial because it was pretty clear that it's not going to be a good strategy. The box formation going straight away was also quite bad at 206 out of 270 health points. The box formation spiraling away at an angle was also a bit of a disaster. The three attempts with starting in loose formation and then doing splits did quite well, but ended up being similar to just using the split formation overall. Alright, so that's all the ways of getting away from the town center that I could think of off the top of my head. We have some angle stuff in there and we have some different unit formations. Comparing the major results at a glance, I'm showing a representation here of line formation running away from the TC, spiraling away from it, loose formation, and split formation. What this says to me is that the formation you use to get away from the town center can greatly impact the health of the units at the end. As well, I realize now I picked one of the worst methods of getting away from the town center fire that I possibly could have, and the strategy that works for the Lone Scout Cavalry does not transfer over to groups of archers, or really any other slow moving grouped up unit. If you can master the split technique using hotkeys, that's probably the best bet, but if you're not quite there yet, just running straight away from the town center works almost as well. Bear in mind that split techniques are probably slightly less effective if the town center is heavily garrisoned because it'll be firing a wider spread of arrows. I hope that helped you out and maybe you learned a new trick in there. Maybe you feel vindicated in continuing to do something that you're already doing anyway. Thanks for watching guys. The next video is going to be about the wheelbarrow and the handcart and when would be a good idea to research these and how good are they anyway. Take it easy and I'll see you next time.